I'm still at Kingsfold. I took a walk in the snow. It was so beautiful out. I had to walk down to the river. I've been here a lot in the summer, but I've never really been here when there's been snow on the ground. So I took a walk down to the river. It was beautiful. And the whole way I was, I was just thinking about Lady Hawk which is the movie I saw in the 80s, right around the time that I went to Rosebud. And you probably haven't seen it. It had Matthew Broderick in it. But it was kind of this modern-day modern, modern day fairy tale. I don't want to plan too much what I'm going to say. I never plan what I'm going to say in these videos. But I don't want to think about it too much. I just want to process out loud with you because I just got back from my walk and I was thinking about this movie, Lady Hawk, and I haven't thought about it in years, but it used to be such a big deal to me. When I first saw it, I was captured by the story. As I mentioned, kind of a modern day fairy tale where a man and a woman are in love, but they have a spell cast on them so that they can't be together. Every day he is a wolf. No, sorry, that's wrong. Every day she is a hawk and at night she turns back into a woman, but in the nighttime hours he turns into a, a wolf. So as the movie says, they're always together eternally apart because they're never humans at the same time. And the movie is about their struggle and the villain and trying to break this spell. There's been a prophecy that the spell will be broken if uh, there is a night without a day and a day without a night when they can appear in their human form together before the evil uh, priest who has cast the spell on them. Anyway, I'm not recommending the movie because there's probably things in it that may offend you, but I'm just remembering it today. And um, just feeling so touched because I, I realize that all of the, the longing and the pathos and the, everything that I felt when I watched that movie, everything that made it so meaningful to me, um, has come true. Anyway, and I was thinking about how, how God, when he created us, fully purposed and intended for us to be an eternal companion for him. And yet, when sin came along, it, it created this, this dichotomy where, um, you know, God and I ex existed, but we were not um, really together the way we were intended to, that we were not of the same kind um, and so how can creatures that are not the same kind share a life together? And, and that's really what sin is about, I think, because sin is like the spell that has been cast on us or the spell that we have chosen um, so that we are no longer holy. And God is holy and he cannot be joined to a creature who is not of the same kind. And so sin is not about God going, ooh, gross, you're icky, get away. It's about, oh no, my beloved darling has, is no longer able to be joined to me. She's no longer my kind. And so there's this, um, anyway, there's just all kinds of parallels in my head about that, about how Jesus was fully God and yet fully man. And so... And also when he died on the cross, how the day became dark, the sun was hidden, a night without a day and a day without a night. <laughs> Sorry, that's not theology. It's just something that God has been speaking to me as I've been thinking about the movie Lady Hawk this morning. And I just was in tears on my walk as I realized that, God, you're with me. There's this beautiful scene in the movie because every sunrise and sunset this wolf and and the woman or the hawk and the man can almost touch as they transform into their other selves but not quite and um, just had to stop on my walk and blink back tears as I realized that, Lord, you're here with me. You're with me here. 
we're so together that there isn't a scalpel sharp enough to divide us. We're tangled up with each other so intricately and so intimately that where do you begin and, and I end? There's just no way to know. We're one. And um, so I'm sorry to be emotional about it, but um, I just wanted to say some of those things out loud. And, um, you know, to be honest, these videos aren't about these videos anymore. Somewhere along the way, they, they stopped being about that. So I apologize that they may become very personal for me. And if you're watching, God bless you. <laughs> but it's, it's not really about what you think about any of this. It's just about um, Jesus telling me my own story. And it's, it's really hitting me. Anyway, that's it for this time.